had the chicken pox, then you're a candidate for shingles. The good news, though, there is a new vaccine. And joining us now with details on that, as well as some tips to prevent and treat the virus, we welcome Dr. Rachel Peril, Associate Professor of Nursing at Cedarville University. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit about the new vaccine, kind of why that was created. Is it more effective than the vaccine that they were previously using? Yes, actually the new vaccine, Shingrix, is good news per, for prevention of shingles. The current vaccine has been a great tool for prevention of shingles and its complications, but it's only been about 51% effective in preventing disease. The new vaccine, Shingrix, is actually estimated to be up to 97% effective for people in their 50s and 60s, and then even up to 91% for people age 70 and over. So if you have received the old vaccine, is this something where you just wait till next time around or recommending that everybody get this new vaccine? So currently, um, the recommendations that will likely be formalized by the Centers for Disease Control by the end of this year are that anyone who has had the current vac vaccine should be revaccinated with okay. Shingrix. And another big change is that the vaccine will be recommended for people starting at age 50 and older. The previous vaccine was 60 and older. So people need to be aware that we really want to get this sooner and and that the effectiveness should be much better. And so it's a um, really good outlook for what we see happening. I mean, yeah, because that's, you know, the 10-year difference is people who thought that they right. had some more time before they needed it, and now you're right. recommending. So starting at age 50 is when people should be getting this Correct. vaccination. Correct. What are some of the symptoms of someone who might have shingles? So anyone who has had shingles or known someone that has shingles knows that it can be a very painful disease. Starts with a rash, typically on one side of the body. And as you stated, any Anyone who has had chicken pox is at risk for developing shingles. It's really the reactivation of that virus in your body. And so um, not only do you have this itchy, painful rash during the disease, but there can be pain for months up to a year afterwards. And oh so goodness. to be able to prevent this is really, really fantastic. So the vaccine should be out soon. People do need to be checking with their health care provider, their pharmacy, and really be looking for the opportunity to get this vaccine. Let's say you haven't been vaccinated and you've been exposed or you've been around somebody who mm -hmm. has shingles. Uh, is it too late? Uh, it's not too late, but really we do want to get people vaccinated as early as possible, as early as they're eligible, so that we can prevent the development of this disease. And then anyone who actively has shingles could um, possibly transmit that to someone else. And so certainly we want to prevent that as well. And then if, if there's anything... You know pain you talk about with having shingles, mm -hmm. is there anything those people can do if they've already, if they already have it? Well, certainly, you know, working with their health care provider, um, but getting the vaccine again, prevention is such a better option. And the vaccine both helps prevent developing the disease as well as preventing these long-term complications of the pain. All right, so 50 and older now. We'll post mm -hmm. this information there on our website about that new vaccine. Dr. Rachel Peril, Associate Professor of Nursing at Cedarville University, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, Mark. All right, ladies, thank you.